So how fast can you get a ticket? Get me a ticket out of here. I'm just curious. No, I'm not on drugs. You're watching an episode of hypoparathyroidism. I decided to go hyper parathyroidism last week and knocked out my kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> you idiots. You know something? First time I hit the box. Okay. Oh, scientists. National Institute of Health in Baltimore and Columbia University. I'd like to thank you for your fuckness. A fuck you. Yeah. yeah. That'd be you. I'm not going to pretend to even think you might know what you think you know what you're doing because all they were lab, lab rats. I was born this fucking way. And you know what? It took me to get my own doctor and learn with me to find out what this thing is. And we still don't know what this thing is. And you handing over 40 that can't do it. But you can give it to people with osteoporosis. Yeah. It was supposed to be okay for us, but it kills. No, it didn't kill. It causes cancer and bones in my rats. Yes. You dumbass. <laughs> you got it as a pharmaceutical fucks. You know. What is it? $10,000? Tell me, Mr. Scientist, what, what all did you find out about the lousy fucking six people that you have? Huh? You know nothing about us. Nothing. Hypoparathyroidism will not kill you. They are fucking right. It will not. What kills you is the side effects from it. That's right. They don't tell you that, though. Or the psychology, psychiatry that's needed because you live with it and you die with it sometimes. And you know what? It makes your immune system go fucked up crazy. You can't even get an appointment with NIH with the with the parathyroid labs because they're too busy cutting open people and doing whatever they do or fooling them full of shit. And then we get Donald Trump. Oh, I love you guys. I really do. I really love you guys. You want <laughs> these pharmaceutical companies sold us up? Hold my whole fucking family on. Look at this. I'm a bruised. You have sleep disorders. You guys, it's all a side effect. So if you're worried when your children are born with it, of course, he's going to have a lot of other things wrong with him if he's born with it to begin with. They don't know what they're doing. They don't... Do they care? No. Because it's just for them another journal to write. And if you try to cut and paste their shit onto your fucking vlog, your blog, they get you for copyright because it might interfere with their tenure. <laughs> how much they make. Or maybe their pharmaceutical companies, how much they can make. Prius, 10 grand? Are you fucking nuts? I'm all on potassium right now. No, look. So, you know, I spent all day yesterday with my doctor and the nurse, and I have a kidney specialist now. And you are watching a disease that nobody fucking cares about because it's chronic. It's chronic. Oh my god! I can't function. No. This person doesn't belong in the psychiatric ward. Yeah, though. First you look at somebody's electrolytes before you 
lock them up and shove them full of whatever it is you think they need. Keep them, you don't know, give them lithium, you don't know, give them anything like that. I had this one doctor one time take away my Rokatrol. Yeah, he took it over the psych ward. Yeah. Rokatrol. It's a, it's a, it's a vitamin D. It's high dose. For normal people, it would uh, knock your kidneys out. If we get too high, of course, then it knocks our kidneys out. If we get too low, we can die anyway because we have we're usually lacking in potassium. Too much of really lacking, and then this is what's going on. In the meantime, you geniuses out there will listen to somebody when I'm in the right mind and know how to learn. There's not one person that even cared about me. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me from a circle cup. How much does it charm cost you to give your kid an aspirin? I volunteered myself as a lab rat, but you had to have a certain kind of lab. I'm drowning with my own fluid. when they were fucking raising me. <laughs> Salute. Here's to your Donald Trump. Hey, Obama. <laughs> Thanks for all the time she did help me, by the way. So, it's really nice of you. Didn't like what I said though about you being in the pockets of the. Oh my God! Medical care in America. Here we are, and I got the best medical care there is. I've got a husband who has money, who can't stand me because I'm always sick, and nobody understands the disease. They have to learn about it the hard way. I'm not doing it anymore. 